Welcome back to Good Day and thanks for waking up with us this morning. I'm Scarlett Grayson. A new study published in the journal Environmental International revealed cell phones could have a negative impact on sperm. Here with us to discuss what the small but consistent drop in sperm quality actually means for male fertility is Dr. Parviz Kavusi, a reproductive urologist at St. David's South. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks today. for having me. I appreciate it. So the first thing that I want to talk about is how is the study conducted and what does it actually mean? Yeah, so that's the most important thing to look at when we're looking at studies actually is how they're conducted and then what they say. This is a meta-analysis which means it actually looks and a lot of um, studies that have been done before and puts them all together and tries to make sense of it. So this study looked at 10 previous studies and put the data together in the best statistical way it can to try to tell us how to make sense of all the previous studies. Um, there have been an awful lot of studies actually that are looking at the effect of cell phones on sperm and on a man's fertility. And so what we know is about uh, one in seven, seven couples has difficulty conceiving and 20% of the time it's solely due to male factor just on the guy's side. Another 30 to 40% of the time there's male factor plus female factor, which means about 60% of the time the man's involved. Mm -hmm. So we've gotten a lot more interested in what's going on on the male side and infertility as well. There have been a lot of studies looking at cell phone effect on sperm and what we're talking about is something that's known as RFEMR, or radio frequency electromagnetic radiation, mm -hmm. which is emitted from the cell phones, and that's what we worry may be bad on these cells that can affect a man's fertility. I've heard so many different things about this electro, what is it? Electro Magnetic <laughs> radiation. Electromagnetic radiation in cell phones that have such a negative impact, and it can be also on brain health mm -hmm. too, and so now it's male fertility. What made you guys kind of put these two together, and what are some of the results that you're seeing? How many men were used in this study, and uh, how, what, what are some of the results that you're seeing? Sure. So, what we what we see is if you look anatomically how men are built, sperm cells are very exposed to environment, to the environment and environmental exposures. So we see overall that male fertility is dropping over time in the United States. Men are getting less fertile overall as a population, and we're counting a lot of that to uh, to environmental factors because pretty much every guy walking around today has a cell phone in their pocket, in their front pocket typically. We started looking into this primarily because we know heat is bad for testicular function, like hot tubs, warm baths, saunas, laptops on the lap. All those things affect sperm production from a heat standpoint. Initially, we were thinking about do the cell phones generate enough heat and then we started looking at the EMR issue with it too and what they what this study showed was it had an awful lot of men in it thousands of men because it took all these studies and compiled them compiled them together and what we find is that motility which is how well the sperm swim gets affected and it drops overall by about eight percent in the men that were using cell phones frequently and the other factor that they looked at closely was vitality whether those sperm were viable to fertilize the egg, and there's certain tests to look for that, and that dropped by about 9%. However, the concentration or the count, how many millions of sperm are there per milliliter of fluid, didn't seem to significantly get affected. So the main effects that we've seen through this study were a drop in motility, how well they swim, and vitality. Um, there are previous studies that actually showed that cell phone, this radiation emission, can damage the DNA in the head of the sperm cells called sperm DNA fragmentation. And that can make those sperm cells not as good at fertilizing the egg. And that can also increase the risk of pregnancy loss in some couples when they do conceive. So in all I know, it's hard to stop using your cell phone right. altogether. What are some of the suggestions that you guys have as doctors after looking at some of these studies? I mean, should, is Bluetooth an option or is that just as bad? I've heard, I mean, I don't, I just don't know what the solution is yeah. for something like this when cell phones are so involved in so many different problems. You bet, and so interestingly, actually, we think this has probably gotten worse as we've gone with the handless you know, cell phones and using Bluetooth and, um, and in the cars and all these things because people are just keeping their phones in their pocket more. It may be safer and more pre preventive for some other issues that we worry about, but just from a fertility standpoint, it's probably giving more exposure to the reproductive organs. Um, what we take away from this study primarily is with the level of decrease in some of these functions, it's probably gonna mostly affect men that are borderline subfertile. Mm -hmm. If a guy is perfectly fertile, 
are these number decreases going to affect them enough to make them infertile? Probably not, from what we understand so far from the studies. But if a guy is borderline, it might knock him down enough to really affect his fertility. So those are the guys that we're worrying about enough. So with any environmental factor that we're talking about, with a man's fertility when they're trying to conceive, that couple's trying to conceive, the best answer is take all those variables out of the equation. So yes, if a couple is trying to conceive, the smart answer is probably keep the cell phone out of the front mm -hmm. pocket. Obviously, that's a difficult thing to do, and as the majority of the male population walks around with a cell phone in their front pocket, that's a big habit to change but it will certainly improve fertility in the men that are on that borderline range. And it's certainly good to know. With studies like these coming out all the time, I mean, you definitely want to keep in mind if you are trying to conceive every little detail of what can help you guys. And so there you have it.